All right, so I'm always looking at you. Yes. No matter who talks to me, I will look at you. <laughs> I try to tell everyone this is how life should work. <laughs> You can like bread. Yeah, no, you guys can lurk. There you go. Yeah, my wife would be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are ready. All right, thanks so much. So is this your first kind of foray into the Halo universe as a fan? Have you, you know, were you a fan of it before? How much knowledge did you kind of carry in? Or is this just a kind of a cold, fresh project for you? Uh, I am a fan. I am by no means claiming to be a fan at the level of any of you guys. <laughs> um, but I was absolutely a fan from the beginning of the Halo franchise. Um, this is, of course, my first time directing within the Halo franchise. Very few directors in the world have gotten to even, you know, dabble in that. And the ones that have are, um, are, you know, some of the people I look up to a lot. Been a big fan of the live action commercials. So when this came down the pike, it was sort of a, a pinch me, dream come true kind of moment. With uh, Forward Left Dawn, you're telling a story that, on the one hand, obviously needs to appeal to the hardcore Halo fans. Yeah. Uh, but it also needs to be enjoyable and entertaining for newcomers into the series. Yeah. So how do you how do you balance that <coughs> in telling a story? Uh, looking at you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold too. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> you can have it now back to me. Now back. And back. <laughs> no, that's definitely one of the big challenges, right? Is to tell a story that both plays to the fans and delivers everything that they could want out of this, but also is accessible to new people who may not know anything about Master Chief or the Forward Unto Dawn or any of that stuff. Um, so the way we look at it as is basically if we tell a story with this is so weird. If we tell a story with great characters. Um, and allow the audience to get invested in those characters, the backdrop becomes secondary. And, um, you know, that becomes sort of the way we open the door and let people get in. And then once they're invested in the world, all the rest of it becomes more and more meaningful. But it is sort of a balancing act, right? Because we want every scene, every frame, every moment to have something for both sets of eyes in it. So hopefully we'll get somewhere close to that. Since you are a fan, what is your favorite aspect of the entire Halo universe? Oh, dude. <laughs> um, you know, I think I, I think I got sucked in because hi. <laughs> I'm <a> <laughs> All right. Um, I think I got sucked in because of the mystery and the the lore and the character development of it all. Um, it wasn't the average sort of first person shooter in that there was so much that seemed to extend beyond the edges of the screen and in the 10 years that sort of followed, that universe grew and grew and grew. And I'm a big sucker for like relics and historical, you know, artifacts and conspiracies and stuff like that. So the backstory is what really gets me. Um, but it's a gigantic, it's a gigantic universe. So there's a million things to love about it. And we're just telling the tiniest little piece of it. Now Halo is a franchise that has certainly been uh, very kind of transmedia. It's not just a video game. There's books and then there's comics and, yeah. and of course live stuff and even the marketing really kind of plays into that foundational story. Yeah. So what kind of research, you know, what kind of pieces of the Halo universe did you really draw from? Did you draw a lot heavily from the games? Did you go into the books as well? Like, you know, what were some of maybe your your big sources of inspiration for what you're doing for them? Sure. Yeah, well, we tried to research everything, right? Soak up as much of the world as possible um, and sort of draw from it what I thought was a crossover element. And one of the things that I feel like the universe is specific to the universe is that it's it's not a sort of um, glorified version of war. It's not an adrenaline-packed like testosterone fest. It enjoys those you know elements, but it's a very bittersweet world, right? There's a cost to everything, um, and you see that across all of the media. You see that from you know the origin stories of Master Chief and the brutality of these kids go through. Um, so, and even the commercials like ODST, you know, super gut-wrenching, emotionally driven commercials because there's a loss in them. There's like a sadness in them. So we wanted to come at this not being like, you know, the, the high varnish, like shoot 'em up fun Michael Bay version of this story, but more like the Band of Brothers. Like there are casualties, there is suffering, there is real pain in this world and try to deliver in that way. Uh, what um, uh, being released as an episodic web series, uh, what, how does that differ from uh, what you would do when making a 
full length feature where it's all consumed in one in one go. Yeah, yeah. Does that does that add challenges or make certain things easier, or is it just completely different? It just scrambles our brains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's tricky, right? Because we're trying to make something that can work in two basic um, viewing patterns, right? We want to make 50-minute episodes that can stand alone, that are you know, interesting in and of themselves, that have a cliffhanger at the end that make you want to come back and see the next one. And then those things have to be strung together into sort of a, a long-form version, and it should be compelling in and of itself. So we started with the long form and made sure that the story worked well from you know, A to B. And then we basically engineered it backwards into episodes that made sense and uh, were compelling, and then made sure that if you pulled any one of those episodes at random, it would be an interesting piece of uh, media. I don't want to say television. Interesting piece <laughs> of, of content to watch. Since you clearly really enjoy the project, do you ever have troubles not spilling the beans to people, like trying to keep it all secret to yourself since you're just so passionate about it? Dude, we are all like so crazy paranoid right now like I I catch myself talking to like my DP I'm like oh shit I, wait no he's my DP I can tell him anything what the fuck <laughs> like the sensor's on really really hard so the default is that you don't say anything and I'm like I don't know I'm gonna be like a, a mess when I walk away from the shoot because I have no idea who I can talk to and who I can trust <laughs> anymore at all how do you think your experience with from the, the director side of things differs from what the actors go through is in, as far as involving themselves? Because the actors talk about the training they go through. Yeah, like, yeah. And it's funny, it's almost like the difference between playing the game and then seeing it. So yeah. how, how would you kind of relate your immersion in it and how, the, how you're taking that forward to improve the product? Um, how would I relate my immersion and how I can take that forward to them? Uh, okay, so the actors basically get dirtier and more sore than I do. Uh, I would say that most of my work is mental, um, so I have, you know, scrambled eggs for brains at this point and <laughs> haven't slept in weeks. Um, I feel like not just the actors and I, but the entire crew kind of feels like they've been on this journey together. We've had some really brutal shoots out in the cold, in the woods. Our first two weeks were basically night shoots, and um, it felt as grueling as it's going to end up looking. So there's kind of a war mentality. And um, I think we all feel like we sort of bonded through that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. If there was Welcome one on. thing that you wanted to leave the fans with, maybe a hope that they would kind of watch it with, or you know, a hope for a reaction from them, what would it be? Live action chief. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.